on the gong show. We're back on the gong show. Uh, Bethany's showing uh, Paige uh, all kinds of interesting <laughs> photos on her part computer. Part dog, part human. Yummy. It's an awesome it's, hybrid. It's, it's what they're pr- producing with the part 3D. Part dog, part human. It's it's human. <laughs> it's a, it's a K, K it's human. Disgusting. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, we're talking we about poor communication, <laughs> obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so I, I don't know why I chose this today. I just I'm just mm. I'm mad. I'll be honest. I'm having a bad day and. And I and I'm, I communicate poorly when I'm in a bad mood. Like I just like I make like like sounds like like kind of like in Horton Hears a Who, the the Mama Kangaroo. Did mm-hmm. you ever see that one? I do like she always that one. Yep. So that's me. I'm a bad communicator today. <laughs> um, what are some why why what are some bad communication techniques, Paige? You you meet with a lot of people, families, teens. Um, Sometimes we don't know bad communication because we are bad communicators. Mm-hmm. What, I- what are some things that you've seen in your long, illustrious well, career as a professional? Well, if we're talking venues, I mean, I think you mentioned it before, either on break or after break, about texting, mm-hmm. using um, texting as a form of communication. There's, there's not a lot that we can glean from the other person when they say, how are you doing? Mm. You know, I mean, when we are in person, even over the communication here in videos, we can get my tone of voice, we can get my body language, eye contact, all of that makes a huge difference. I like the word inflection there too. Oh, did I use a big word? No, no, I just did it in there because I want to sound smart. Inflection. (laughs) I was like, wow, I used a big word today because I'm really not, it's not making sense up there. (laughs) Ever since you had Carter, your brain, I, I, it is. my wife and I experienced the same thing. Exactly. It has been shown that men suffer that as well. Mm. Other things is like email, when you write over email. Again, it's all that um, written communication that mm-hmm. is just really not a good way to communicate, if, especially if the topic is important. Mm-hmm. Now, the other thing is you know, how your mood affects your communication. You were oh. saying that today is not necessarily a good day for not you. Not a great day. And so sometimes we take that out on other people, um, whether we're short with them, um, we name call, uh, we blame them, we, we project go. our anger onto them mm-hmm. in order to release that in ourselves. Mm-hmm. There's nothing no. healthy about that. Yeah. And then I guess um, if we point out what Miss Sarah talked about on the chat about being put in the middle, yes. how people sometimes make us be the, the median between them and a conflict, that obviously isn't very healthy for anyone involved, especially if it's a parent-child relationship. Mm -hmm. That's not your responsibility to take care of your parents' problems. Mm -hmm. They need to be doing that themselves. I would think that our our young audience would most be, um, would most resonate, which is another big word, Mm -hmm. uh, with friendships that they're placed in the middle of. You know, mm-hmm. well, you tell her, well, you tell, well, I guess guys wouldn't do it. Guys would be more like, well, I hate them. Right. So that you get caught in the middle, mm-hmm. really screwed up communication. And then I told you before we went into this break, one of my pet peeves is how texting has become the way that we communicate a majority of our, our words. And, and so when it gets bad, we communicate via texting and back to that inflection and the way your face, you can't see all that. And and how many times have we heard on, on these programs that people break up in relationships via texting? Yeah. Like that just, you're crazy. And you know, I understand that because it's easier. There's oh, yeah. no consequence. No yeah. Exactly, you're mm-hmm. not seeing that person and how they feel about it. So mm-hmm. it is so much easier to just relate that via text or mm-hmm. email, but that is not healthy for you or for them. Mm-hmm. There's no resolution. There's no conclusion, and it's just poor social skills. 